Hi, this is Nate Webb, president of ZipD. Today we have a video for you on how to use your emergency kit to operate your Relax on it. Hopefully you should never have to do this, but in the event that you don't have power to your awning or your awning is stuck out, you want to be able to use your emergency kit to manually override the motors in your awning. Your emergency kit includes tools to override each motor in the awning. The parts of the emergency kit are as follows. An emergency cable with alligator clips and an insulated plug on the other end, a hex drive manual override, a magnetic adapter piece, a flexible shaft, and a limit adjuster tool. Also with the older style motors you'll need a half inch wrench to remove the gas rafters. The only additional thing you'll need to operate the awning other than this emergency kit is a 12 volt battery source or an electric drill. The emergency cable included will run direct power to your motor and you can skip all the steps for the manual operation of the tubular motor if your motor works and you can simply plug your cord into the plug and clip your alligator clips to a 12 volt power source. The first step in manually operating your awning is determining which type of motor you have. If your awning was made prior to 2016, you may have our old style motor that does not have a manual override included. Today we'll be doing a demonstration with an old style motor. If you have a newer style motor, you can use the 7mm hex drive in an electric drill to simply override the tubular motor. These instructions will cover how to close an awning that has our old style motor without the manual override. Remove the bolt from the outside of the arm that connects the gas rafter. Unscrew the rafter from its rafter base and set to the side. Repeat the same for the opposite side of the awning. Use your winding tool and insert it through the hole in the ZipD logo at the front end of your awning. Thread it down until it stops against the head bolt. On the front end of the awning, remove the head bolt. Be sure to remove the head bolt only on the front side of the awning, as the rear side is under spring tension and can cause severe damage by removing this bolt. You have now created an axle through the end of the awning using your emergency tool to roll the awning up on. Roll the awning about halfway up. You'll need a ladder to reach at this point. When the awning is about halfway rolled up, replace the head bolt to keep the awning locked in that location. Locate your manual override at the bottom of each arm. Attach your flexible shaft and magnetic adapter piece to an electric drill. Put your drill in reverse. Use the drill on the manual override piece to lower the arm halfway to the scribe mark. There should be a scribe mark located on each arm at the spot where we are trying to lower each arm to. When the arm is lowered halfway, repeat the process on the other arm. You want to lower the other arm to the halfway point before continuing to lower it all the way to avoid binding in the awning. Once the arms have reached their lower scribe marks, remove the head bolt and continue to roll the awning all the way closed. Roll the awning as tightly against the vehicle as you can and place the head bolt back into place. Remove the emergency tool from the end of the awning. Please check out our YouTube channel for any other videos or our website for any additional information. 